you know, I don't like talking about stuff like this because I was a member of the media, the, the print media at one point in my life. I never worked for a big, you know, website like Kotaku or IGN or GameSpot, but, you know, running Zelda Informer and Gamnesia and, you know, MetroidWiki.org, it kind of was uh, one of those things where I, I learned a newfound respect uh, for trying to be a gamer, trying to be a fan, and trying to be a professional all at the same time. But this story, man... This story, it, it bothers me for a number of reasons. Let's just get into what happened. So Chris Grant, he is the editor-in-chief of Polygon. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a big fan of Polygon in general. Uh, when it first launched you know, years back, I actually thought it was kind of a cool idea because it, it seemed like a place that was a refugee for certain games journalists that uh, were fired or left other companies due to their BS, whether it be Kotaku, back when Kotaku was doing a lot of bad stuff. And I say back when because Kotaku today is a lot different than the Kotaku back then in terms of their video game coverage. They still have some other coverage out there that you might not be into, but their video game coverage is pretty excellent at Kotaku in 2017. Uh, big credit out to Stefan Totillo for really turning that site around after he became editor-in-chief. But that's neither here nor there. Polygon interested me at first. Uh, as the years wore on, it became clear to me why some of these people maybe don't have jobs other where, uh, at other places in the industry, whether they chose the left or not. Um, a lot of sensationalist stuff, a lot of uh, just outright untrue you know, news reporting. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised that this happened when Chris Grant, and I realize I'm burning any possible bridge I have with working with Chris Grant or anyone else at Polygon, but he put something up on Twitter, uh, bashing Breath of the Wild and bashing Nintendo. Uh, that's just idiotic. Let me just get into his tweets, and I'm going to put them up here for you guys to see. Uh, he said, so he had friends over for a dinner party, and he showed the Switch off to a good pal, and he accidentally overwrote my 100-plus hour Zelda file, and it took three seconds for that to happen. And he goes on to say, not exaggerating when I say this, Zelda just dropped from a top three for me this year to not ranking at all. Nintendo is straight up delinquent. The Switch is an amazing console marred by a dinosaur of a company refusing to honor its own customers. I can promise you with 1,000% confidence I will never play that game again. What an effing disaster. My favorite part of sharing this is all of the dipshits who stutter to exclaim, user error, I didn't do that. Okay, so that's, that's how this all got started, right? Um, but the story didn't end there. Later on, he updated the situation. Update. After working up the courage to look at my Switch again, it restarted and was in the Zelda menu and Master Mode. He started a new game in Master Mode. My empty save slots were empty Master Mode save slots. When I switched back to normal, there they were. <laughs> so he started a bunch of drama over nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, he called Nintendo a dinosaur of a company. He called them delinquent. Um, he dropped Zelda out of the top three because a user potentially at this time potentially deleted his save file, ended up not deleting his save file at all. So his whole rant was stupid. Uh, the guy literally switched to master mode and didn't even touch Chris Grant's save file. But man, <laughs> this is a problem I have. Uh, the thing is, he's editor-in-chief, right? This isn't just some some writer, some editor. This is, like, the top brass at Polygon talking about this. And this isn't to say things are, are, are all rosy at Nintendo, right? There should be cloud saves. Cloud saves would fix all of it. Oh, you accidentally delete your save, you can re-download it off the cloud, right? It's a thing that pretty much every other major platform has, and Nintendo doesn't, and it is something they need to address. Uh, Breath of the Wild is also a very unique game uh, in the Zelda sphere in that usually you have three different save files, but because of Breath of the Wild's auto-saving features and the way that it's set up, it's one save file per user, per version. So if you're playing normal mode, that's a save file. If you play master mode, it's a totally separate save file. Um, and then if you want a new save file, you create a new user. And what's, uh, what's really funny about this is Polygon actually wrote an article 
um, shortly after, uh, or it might even been before Switch's launch, saying that, hey, just to let you, just as a heads up, uh, if you want to let your friends try out Breath of the Wild, you need to set up a new profile for them so they have their own save file. So, like, Polygon wrote up a piece specifically saying if you're going to let people try out this game, create a new profile. Uh, Chris Grant I had to have known this. He had to have approved it. He was editor-in-chief of the site back then, so he knew that that article went out. So he should have known off the top of his head that you should be making a new user profile for your friend to even try out the game. Now, obviously, it all ends up being a mute point because his friend never deleted his save file in the first place. Um, he started the new game in master mode. Uh, Chris Grant is saying that his save file was in normal mode, so it's <laughs> he made this big hullabaloo out of absolutely nothing. And here's what frustrates me. Regardless of what you think about Nintendo, uh, if you think that, apparently he thinks they're a dinosaur of a company, uh, it, there's no way in heck he got to this conclusion off of one thing. Um, he's based in an, on a history of, of, of things that Nintendo has done that's a little bit behind the times, and I understand that. Um, but to call them straight up delinquent um, is, is just wow. And on top of that, uh, I mean, not only is he just straight up burning any possible bridge he has with Nintendo uh, over what user error is. I mean, he says, my favorite part in sharing this is all the dipshits who stutter and exclaim, user error, I didn't do that, when it was completely user error. It was user error both on his friend's part and user error specifically on his part because this fake file never got deleted. Um, and what really makes me, this is how you know that there's still issues in the video game media. And the thing is, I don't have an issue with video game media in general. I think most of them do a, a, as good a job as they possibly can. The fact that he's saying that he dropped Zelda from his top three because of what was a mistake and a user error is just hilarious. Uh, the quality of Zelda... The quality of Breath of the Wild, how great that game is, shouldn't be based on whether or not your friend potentially, in this case he didn't do it, delete your save file. Uh, if your save file got deleted, uh, that doesn't affect how great the game is. <laughs> Unless the game itself deleted it. Like, if it was a bug. I used to have a bug playing uh, the Majora's Mask Gold Cartridge version. Um, I, had, I got it at launch. I had one of the early, uh, obviously one of the original Gold Cartridge versions. And... When you played it, uh, if you would save at the owl statue inside the stone tower temple, um, and you would you know keep playing or, or either quit and you didn't save at another place after that. So if that was your last save point, which I that was always a good save point for me. I always like saving right before bosses and then maybe coming back to the bosses later. Um, and you save there, uh, I would come back in, and my whole save file would be deleted after I restart the game. Uh, it was a big issue I had with Majora's Mask, and it's why, even to this day, it stands as the only Zelda game I have not beaten, um, because I got so frustrated because I accidentally did it to myself three times as a kid, and I just said, oh man, even Majora's Mask 3D when that came out, I played a ton of it, but I never really beat the game, because I knew how the game ended at that point, right? I had, I had watched how the game unfolds, um, so... I just didn't feel a desire that I needed to play it. Um, it kind of frustrates me that I'm still at that point. But that's something I understand because that's a game. You, you could argue that's a game-breaking bug, right? To to lose hundreds of hours of, on a save file because you did what the game told you to do and it deleted your file. That That's frustrating. This is different. This would have been 100% user error. And as mad as you want to be at Nintendo for not offering cloud saves or for this particular Zelda game to not have multiple save files, uh, as if that would have changed the fact that your friend could have easily overrode a save file. Anyways, um, just baffles the hell out of me. Um, this shows, uh, I, like I said, this shows issues in the, in the video game media industry. This is the editor-in-chief of Polygon uh, outing himself as not only being an idiot and over-exaggerating things, and the thing is, I don't actually think he's a real idiot, right? I'm not name-calling here. Um, but about this particular thing, he's being really stupid. Um, I'm sorry how great a game is, unless it's a game-breaking bug that you discovered later, uh, does not is not diminished because you're, there might have been a user error that deleted your save file. That is not something that affects the quality of the game. Um, that just makes you extremely upset that you lost. In fact, how upset you are at losing that save file should let you know how amazing that game was because you don't want to lose that save file because of how much work and how much fun you put into that save file. Uh, so if anything, that should verify your placement of the game. And to say, I pr can promise you with 1,000% confidence I will never play that game again. Well, guess what? You have your save file. Guaranteed you've already played it again since. And on top of that, uh, if the game was a top three game and as great as you thought, you were never going to start the game over again? Really? 
Really? Um, I know several games that I think are all-time great games or, or greatest games of the year. And, yeah, I, I start them over again because I want to experience it all over again. I I don't know. This is just a, a funny story to me. Of It's a complete non-story, right? This isn't even newsworthy. But I just had to talk about it because it's so funny. Um, and I hate when the media gets painted in such a bad light. But, man, I can't ignore this. This is bad. This is bad. Chris Grant... Uh, congratulations, you burned every bridge you had left with Nintendo. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you end up on Nintendo's blacklist now and you're, you're not going to get, rev- you know, even Polygon as a whole might not get review copies of Nintendo games anymore. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, people stop taking your opinions on things seriously because this was extremely reactionary without even bothering to boot the game. I mean, you literally couldn't boot the game up and see that uh, before you went on this rant, that your file was actually gone. You just assumed it was gone. Oh, man. I mean, heck, how do you know he wasn't playing under a different profile at the time? Again, user error both on your body's part, but primarily on your part, Chris. I'm sorry. I wish I could take this all back, but you did it to yourself. You guys let me know what you think about this whole stupid situation in the comments below. And I'm sure because he decided to swear and I had to read some of that stuff off that this video is going to be demonetized. I don't even care at this point. Um, when idiotic stuff like this happens, it needs to be called out because uh, maybe some of you guys out there trust Polygon. I don't know. I haven't trusted them for a long time due to other articles they've created. But uh, this is one that, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying Polygon can't turn it around. If Kotaku can turn it around where I used to not trust them and now I do, um, Polygon can too. But it's not going to happen to the leadership of Chris Grant. Um, not saying he's a bad guy. Not saying he hasn't done some great work. But this is a bad look. And at least when it comes to the Nintendo stuff, we obviously can't trust you when you are calling Nintendo delinquent um, and all that stuff. You can have criticisms all you want. Um, You didn't even state why they were delinquent or why they were a dinosaur company, right? Like, if you're going to make accusations like that, back them up. I think actually saying marred by a dinosaur of a company um, and refusing to honor its own customers, I think that's something that you actually could make a legit argument for and back up with facts, but you didn't. You're using an example of a user error uh, to say that, and that example does not fit that description. Um, And I don't even get what the whole honor its own customers thing means. Like, what? What are they supposed to honor you with? They gave you one of the greatest games of all time. We have Super Mario Odyssey coming out this week. Again, potentially one of the greatest games of all time. Nintendo's continuing to give you great content. They're giving you a Switch that you loved, um, that your friends are enjoying as well when they try it out. I I don't know uh, how they're not honoring you. Can you explain that? Because, again, these issues sound like they go well beyond this dumb user error that you're saying. My favorite part is shared, and this is all the people that will say who stutter to accept user error. I didn't do that. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Not only because the save file is still there, but even if the save file was gone, it's still your fault, Chris. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you, I should not be smiling so much while I'm going through this, right? I actually think this is terrible. But, man... Some people's idiocy could just be really entertaining. Anyways, folks, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you in the next one.